partnered up with NVIDIA for the PC version, so it's just going to be pumped crazy for the PC yep. version, which is yep. awesome. I'm a PC guy myself, so oh, great. I'm great. excited for it on PC. Yeah, we're very excited ourselves with the, the what we can do with the hardware. It's just crazy. I mean, we just uh, you can see here uh, the size of the of the urban setting is just massive. It's beautiful. Uh, we can have uh, huge crowds of up to five thousand NPCs. I noticed That's that. Crazy. Yeah, I, I couldn't believe how many NPCs were in the crowd as the player was actually walking through, yep. and yep. they all seemed really alive. And, yeah, they are. It's, it's one of the things we've uh, we've been uh, focusing on is just make sure that uh, you know. Um, because that Paris was already very, uh, very much populated back then, uh, to reproduce this as, uh, as, uh, as much, much as we could, and uh, make sure that uh, all these NPCs are actually interactive. They're, they're, they're space fillers, filler uh, obviously, but uh, they're more than that. They're all interactive. They do stuff. Uh, our goal, our mandate, was to uh, make sure that we, we, we crafted a living, breeding version of Paris during the, the 18th century. And the game takes place in Paris the whole time. Yes, sir. Awesome. So Paris is huge, so there's plenty to do, I'm sure. It's a huge <laughs> setting. Yeah. We're, we're very proud to go back to the urban urban setting. Uh, it's been uh, uh, years, actually, that we haven't done that. Um, just to give you an idea, the size of our Paris is as, is bigger than all the landmass uh, combined from uh, the previous game. Wow. Which was in the Caribbean. That's pretty intense. Mm -hmm. Wow. Holy crap. So here, uh, Arno is on. on uh, he's been tasked the by the assassins to uh, eliminate publicly uh, someone that terrorizes the, f the the population of Paris. This is set during the the later part of the French Revolution that we call okay. the, the Terror. Uh, basically, the some of terror, of so, yeah, the reign of t uh, terror. So extremists uh, wanted to use the French Revolution as an excuse to take over uh, and establish uh, the. Uh, the nobility as the as the new power. Mm -hmm. um, so the assassin, uh, always working the shadows, are trying to um, to counter the the Templars, uh, which are also trying to pull the strings. So it's still the of course. the age old um, you know uh, fight between those two factions. So I've noticed uh, as you're just walking down the street here, you can just jump into missions and side yeah. things and side quests whenever you want. Yeah. And so we built this demo for fluid, obsessive yeah. compulsive people. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Um, That's kind of me for yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, you know, we wanted to, to make sure to show a few things that you can do in the sandbox, in the playground. Um, uh, oh, wow. The world is living. It's systemic. It's uh, one of the, the approach we've been taking with ACU is make sure that, uh, you know, stuff just happens. Uh, it's not uh, player centric anymore. Right. We had to do that because of, uh, of the shared experience. Uh, but uh, beyond that, NPCs interact with other NPCs by themselves. Uh, and of course, the player can decide to, uh, to interact uh, if he wants to. Very nice. Yeah, I can't believe how gorgeous it is. You guys have really upped it just since Black Flag. Yeah. It's kind of shocking. So here we can see um, you know, our new stealth mode on a touch of a button. Uh, he uh, leans down, he crouches. Uh, we have a contextual uh, crouching mechanism. And uh, when we do that, uh, you know, um, detection from the enemies is uh, narrow. Um, you can more, you're more silent. Um, so it's something, uh, something else that uh, our fans wanted to see in the excellent in Assassin's Creed. The textures are gorgeous. Wow. All the interiors are seamless. One out of four buildings uh, in Paris will be uh, accessible. That's there's stuff crazy. to find. There's wow. loot, treasure chest. I mean, there's just again. It's just for, for people that are crazy uh, like achievers. Uh. <laughs> and in terms of the, the co-op aspect the of it, can one, two, or three other players but drop in and out whenever the they want? Or is much. that a completely different Good. mode? No, no, it's not a different mode. Um, this is Unity, right? So uh, yeah, yeah. one of our goal was, uh, goals was to make sure that uh, just your friends could just uh, see you online and decide to join your session. Uh, so uh, you can go in their world or they can join yours. And uh, from that moment on, you're you're free to explore uh, Paris together. You can find quests, uh, activities. Yeah, and, look and at do, all this. Do them together. Wow. This is an example of this. Yeah. Wow. Uh, There's so much to do for sure. So all this is a bit work in progress still. Uh, we're yeah, yeah. So improving this as we speak, but gives you an idea of the the the, the kind of uh, of uh, uh, stuff that's available to you whenever you're on the rooftops. Uh, the rooftops are, are your domain, so of course, you have yeah. uh, it's one of your advantage. I still love how fluid so this, the this is. This is right here is one of your friends. He's online. Uh, oh, okay, great. So you know we we've contextualized uh, 
access to uh, to playing with with, uh, with friends uh, to make sure that it's as uh, easy as possible. You also can go through a menu if you want. But. Fantastic. It almost smells like 1790s yeah. <laughs> Paris. It looks so guttural and visceral and real. It's fantastic. Yeah. So these are uh, the, the extremists. Uh, we call them the, the aggressors for now, for lack of a better name. And uh, th they're, they're basically there to, to cause trouble. And then with the blue guys here, they're more the, the police, if you want. Sure, they're yeah. the national guards, and their, their role is to make sure to... to that order uh, is uh, maintained. Maintained, indeed. I still can't get over the amount of NPCs on screen. It's incredible. Next gen is here. Yes. <laughs> um, the demo here is set uh, in Ile de la Cité. It's right in the middle of Paris. Excellent. Uh, but it's one out of the seven districts we have. Uh, each of the so have a different themes, different art directions, different types of crowds, of people, uh, different types of missions, activities. Wanted to make sure that even though we have a single city, that it's, it feels like it's, there's like seven of them. Sure. Do these districts unlock as you progress in the game, or can you just jump out and you run can, through you're Paris free to explore as soon as you're the minute you, uh, that is you open the game? That is fantastic. Uh, but obviously, you know, difficulty level would depend. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, this is a great yeah, part. Yeah, right. <laughs> a little bit too late to save the guy. Yeah, um, poor guy. We wanted to show it. So sure. Saving it would have been nice. Right, right. So you, so you can actually save that guy. Yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah, yeah for the purpose of this demo, we wanted to do it. With him. Excellent. Get owned. And of course, here's just. As an image, your friends. Those are the homies <laughs> coming in to save the day. And everyone's like, yeah, we can't take four players. Yeah. <laughs> That's <Exactly>. great. <laughs> there you go.